Hello everyone. Welcome to Channelize Learning. So today we are going to create the movies in the shorter time and with the easier tools by using Window Movie Maker. We are not using Adobe Premiere Pro After Effects because that softwares are too complex for the beginners and the students. So let's start with the video learning. First of all, you can see like this is the dashboard or we can say like a home page for a Window Movie Maker. There is the above menu given and uh, the left side of the screen is contains the screen uh, like a window or the live window in which all the changes are reflecting and the uh, another white side it will contains like uh, your timeline area on which you are dragging or dropping the video contents or image contents so first of all let's move with the first option like this is you can see add videos and photos first of all we have to click on that you will see it will move to your desktop area like uh, the destination on which files are there. Let's select some folder or file. Like uh, I want to select any one of uh, this image. You just need to click on this and it's like it will be here in the timeline. You can see like uh, when I am double clicking on this image. I am getting these options as the editing options for this image. So first of all, I have to explain like why we have chosen these editing options. For example, you can see here there is the menu or there is a like a box which contains the duration time. For example, you want to drag this image till like uh, four minutes. Like uh, for the four minutes, this image should be still there. So for four minutes like uh, 60 uh, like one minute contains 60 seconds so this duration is in the form of the seconds only you just need to like if you want to drag this image for the 60 seconds then you have to write 60.00 so you can see in the timeline there is the result which will drag that image to the 60 seconds after that if you want to insert or if you want to like set an ending point to some uh, like uh, in between the image only you can select uh, you can uh, drag this cursor in between the image like this and after that you can click on this set ending point by this way you can trim that image also it will automatically reduce the duration time but uh, if you want to add some like music or anything like that so you can move to the another option add music after uh, clicking on this there will be the uh, different options you can see we have to select add music from pc option like uh, you need to uh, move to the folder again in which uh, your audio files are stored for example i want to select any then just click on that you can see uh, below that image there is an audio file and when we will play this image it will be it will just play that music with that image okay uh, you can also record your voice also and uh, it's very simple like uh, you can just move to the this record narration option after that you can just click to, click on this record and it will just start your recording your voice Okay, moving to the next, if you want, first of all, I'm going to add some other videos also so that uh, we can uh, learn properly about the effects also. It, in the similar way, click on the add videos and photos. Then after that, click on video. Uh, similar way, like previously I clicked on the image. Now I'm clicking on the video. After clicking on the video, just see it will take just another 10 seconds only just to upload that video after that uh, you just need to like click on spacebar to check whether it's uploaded or not in the software only you have seen like uh, there is the wave symbol on the video when it's fully uploaded and after that when you play it will be smoothly played like this now you can see like uh, there are the different options that are highlighted at the top 
bar for example video tools music tools when you will click on the video tools it will flash you these options first of all like a video which is having its back volume you can increase that or decrease that according to the user requirement after that you can like uh, want to start video with some effect like fade in fade out or anything else you can use from this like uh, you want a slow fade in when it comes to uh, if, if, when it starts or when it begins you can do from this if you want to increase the video speed like a slow motion video or anything else you can select the speed from this side for example if i am uh, like uh, increasing the speed like it's 4x then you can see it's so far it will be so fast but if i am going to reduce the speed like 0.5x you can see the size of the timeline also increases and it's now slow as compared to like 4x speed okay then moving to the another option you can see like uh, in the added option only there is the split bar also that can split the videos into two parts sometimes what the user needs like uh, he or she uh, don't need the whole video he needs some clipping uh, from some videos so he can upload that videos and then split that video it will you you can see the videos in the two parts now if i don't need the another part then i can just delete this part by just clicking on the delete option only if you want to trim that video or you want, we can also set the starting or ending point like uh, uh, from the cursor like this i can drag this cursor to some point in the video then click on this this is the starting point and uh, then moving to the cursor another end i can move to this it's a like a set ending point or uh, like between this and set ending point it will be get trimmed to that part only moving to the next like uh, we are moving to the animation part for example if you want some effects on the video like uh, when it starts like you have to drag your cursor to the start or to the start of the another segment of the video another section of the video basically so you just need to click on the animation or the type of the animation like this and you can see the when you will hover your mouse on the effects only then it will reflect that changes on the screen board and you can just play that video and can see the effects also after that uh, moving to the further if i am going to the video section because it's a image on which i am applying the animations now moving to the video section if i apply the animations you can see there are the uh, the variety increases for the uh, for the videos only not for the images images there is less variety as compared to videos so when moving to the video we can just click on any type of the animation and when we just play it you can see the screen board how it's changing or how its effects are applying on it like this so there are the lot of effects you can use you can use there is a huge variety of the effects like this only you can also include uh, increase the duration of the effect also for example uh, you can see like 1.50 second is the duration of the effect if you want like uh, the duration of the effects increase so you can increase the size from this like 2.00 it will increase like see you can it's the effects are applying slowly now so moving further you can move to the visual effects you just need to uh, select that image or video on which you want to apply these visual effects you can see now when i hover on any of effect given above that can be visualized from the screen board also we can also increase the brightness of the video we can also decrease the brightness by using this moving further like this project the project options contains like emphasize video emphasize narration like the focused focus part of the video making so 
and there are also basic standard sizes like 16 ratio 9 or 4 ratio 3 it's all depend upon like uh, on the word source for the word purpose you are making video if you are want to publish on youtube or uh, facebook then move to the wide screen only 16 ratio 9 if you are going for instagram and all that then you can also use the size for the standard for 4 ratio 3 then moving further like uh, you want to screen uh, view the video like zoom in zoom out or to see the thumbnail size of the video like it's small extra small anything you can just click on this you can also use uh, view the waveforms that is the, like audio part or the video containing the back audio in the form of the wave waveforms you can also visualize that also moving further to the edit parts i already covered okay so this is like options for the music tools only like uh, we can increase or decrease the music vol uh, audio volume so this part i also al already covered so like on the home page there are some other options which will make your video if attractive for example if you want to create the title for the video like this i can uh, i'm writing anything uh, like uh, new project or you can write according to your requirement only so these are the effects you can have on like this you, while displaying your title like uh, I applied this effect only after this just click on this and you will see that effect on the screen board only okay moving further like you can also add the captions captions means a text when you are playing any video or any image for example i want here to be written in nice sky for example just add the caption there will be the text box you can drag that text box and just write nice sky or anything according to your requirements after this you can click on the color options also to make it visible you can bold it italic it means there are a lot of options for formatting the text also you can increase the size you can just apply the any font styles to make it more attractive and these are the effects for the text animations you can see it's like a, a flying it's coming from top to bottom bottom to top right corner moving it's a lot of options we are here so moving further we can also give the outline color to the text or anything like outline size or none uh, we have to change this outline color also according to that okay so another option is like credits last uh, for the credits like uh, when you see uh, when any movie is over or picture over then there are the last there is the last part in the behind of the movie like credits made by abc or my channel name or anything else you can write you can write like anything uh, then after that you can just play the video and you can see like uh, it's moving from bottom to top in the style of the credits only so this is all about window movie maker so after the completing your project you can you have to save this project or you have to export the file to upload it on your facebook or youtube or to send to anyone so you just need to click on this disk shaped option after this uh, you can see uh, different options uh, you are seeing like there is an option save movie save movie you can uh, move to these options it's like uh, for android phone android phone medium apple phone for emailing for burning a dvd for computer for high definition display but i recommend to go for the recommended for this project because it contains the default setting for the videos so like when i click on this it will ask like on what destination you want to save that video just select anything and uh, change the name if required then just click on save 
okay i am having same name on my desktop so i will replace that name and you will see just it's a uh, exporting starts and it will take just another 5 to 7 minutes to get a movie and you will get the movie at your destination folder so i hope you have learned about window movie maker and you will make a new videos and kindly like my channel subscribe my channel like my videos or spread the word i'm really thankful to you bye bye take care